This is the Samsung Galaxy A55 and this is the Samsung Galaxy A35. So both of these phones are successor to the one of the best selling phones of fourth quarter of 2023. So Samsung Galaxy A54 and Samsung Galaxy A34, both phones are in the top 10 with three other Samsung smartphones for one of the best selling smartphones in Q4 2023. So if you're having a hard time deciding between these two phones, let me help you with that. So we'll do a side by side comparison of the A35 and the A55 in this video. I'm on Mulsresto and you're watching Take Click. So both of these phones have same design well, they look exactly the same. Uh, the dimensions are same as well, but the A35 is lighter than the A55 and that's because A35 has a plastic frame, whereas the A55 comes with a premium metal frame. Both of these phones uses glass back on the rear panel. The A55 has Gorilla Glass Victus Plus protection on the back, what Samsung has not mentioned, the protection type of the rear panel on the A35. Likewise on the front, both of these phones have obnoxiously big bells and Samsung should have improved this. Well, uh, the hole punch size on both of these phones are same as well and well, they are pretty much identical and both of them have an in-display fingerprint sensor as well. And another thing that is similar on both of these phones is that the front glass is protected by the Gorilla Glass Victus Plus that we see normally on uh, Samsung's flagship smartphones. Well, uh, if you talk about the in-hand feel, the A55 definitely feels premium than the A35 and that's because of the metal frame. But overall, let's say these phones in terms of design are quite similar. In terms of colorways, uh, both these phones come in same four colors. Uh, likewise, ports and buttons exactly the same. And also, these phones have stereo speaker setup. Well, talking about the quality, the A55 had better speaker quality than the A35. A55 feels louder and crispier and clearer as well. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Now moving on to the display, both of these phones come with 6.6 .6 inch Super AMOLED Full HD Plus 120Hz refresh rate panel and you cannot really separate these two displays with naked eyes. The display panel on both of these phones have 1000 nits max brightness and also come with Samsung Vision Booster technology so I have had no problems using these phones under direct sunlight. Likewise the wing angles, the color contrast on both of these phones are really really good. Uh, you get that rich saturated color that we usually expect from Samsung. Likewise, the refresh rate uh, optimization is also good. I have had no issues. The display feels smooth and super responsive. In terms of refresh rate, you have two options. So you can set it to adaptive that switches between 60 Hz and 120 Hz depending upon the content. Or you can set it to standard mode uh, that will use the display at 60 Hz all the time. So until now, these phones feel similar. But now this is where things get slightly different. So the Samsung Galaxy A35 is running on the Exynos 1380 chipset that was used on the Samsung Galaxy A54. Whereas the A a55 comes with all new Samsung's Exynos 1480 chipset. So the Exynos 1480 is a newer chipset with 4 nanometer fabrication technology whereas the Exynos 1380 is a 5 nanometer chipset. Well the core architecture of both of these chipsets are same but the Exynos 1480's performance scores are slightly higher clock compared to the A35's Exynos 1380's performance scores. So likewise the GPU is different so Exynos 1480 is using AMD's RDNA 2 based Xclipse 530 GPU whereas the A35 is using Mali Z68 MP5 GPU. Well, except that the A35 comes with 6 or 8 GB of RAM and 128 or 256 GB of UFS storage. Likewise, the A55 comes with 8 GB of RAM by standard and has 128 or 256 GB of UFS storage. Now, if you look at the benchmark score, the A55 does much better. So you can see that in Geekbench 6, a CPU-based benchmark, it scores 13% higher in single core, whereas 18% higher in multi-core than the A35. And A55 also does much better in terms of GPU benchmarks. So in 3D Mark Wildlife and Wildlife Extreme, A55 is ahead of the A35 by some margin. Likewise, in Antidote Train as well, A55 is almost 1.2 lakhs ahead of the A35. So both of these phones feel smooth in daily tasks. You cannot separate between these two in terms of daily life experience, like opening apps, like switching between them. But what about gaming? So both of these phones are not optimized for PUBG Mobile. You can only play up to as 
HD graphics and high FPS setting on both of these phones. And we got around 29.6 average FPS on the A35 and 29.7 average FPS on the A55. Now for true gaming test, we tested games in impact on low graphics and 60 FPS frame limit settings. Well, the A35 managed average FPS of 49 with 95 percentile of 40.7 average FPS. Likewise, A55 managed average FPS of 54 with 95 percentile of 46. Well, in the FPS graph, you can see that A35 has more frame drops than the A55. So definitely, A55 performs much better than the A35. So while we're talking about the drops, why don't you drop that like button on our video and also subscribe to our channel for further videos like this and also hit that bell icon for notifications. Now let's move on to the cameras. So Samsung Galaxy A55 and A35 have upgraded camera sensors this time. So A55 has a 50 megapixels main sensor with OIS, 12 megapixels ultra wide angle sensor and a 5 megapixels macro. Likewise, A35 also has a 50 megapixel sensor with OIS, a 8 megapixel ultra wide angle sensor and a 5 megapixel macro sensor. Likewise, on the front, the A55 gets a higher 32 megapixel selfie camera, whereas the A35 has a 13 megapixel selfie camera. So the camera quality is quite close, well, really close. Both of them have good detail, but exposure and contrast of the A55 is better. But there's not a huge difference between these two. Likewise, in portrait, the A35 tends to sharpen the photo. Also, A35 has warmer look than the A55, but the color and contrast is better on the A55. Well, it's quite close between these two. Let us know which one you like. Moving on to the ultra wide, without any doubt, the A55's 12 megapixel ultra wide is way better than the A35. No questions, the dynamic range, contrast, color, details, everything is better on the A55. Now moving on to the front, surprisingly, A35 has sharper photos. You can see better details on the face, but the face tone is accurate on the A55. A35 has warmer tone. So this will go down to your personal preference. Let us know which one you prefer. So both of these phones have very good video capability. So both of them can do 4K 30 from the main camera and the front camera, but the A35 is limited to 1080p with the ultra wide angle sensor, whereas the A55 can do 4K 30 with the ultra wide angle sensor as well. Videos from the main camera look similar. The sharpness is good on both of these phones, but A35 boosts the color slightly, whereas A55 goes for more accurate color. Stabilization is also good on both phones since both use OIS and EIS, but A55 is slightly better in terms of overall video quality. The ultra wide is definitely a huge win for A55 as it captures 4K video. And you can see that the A55 has sharper videos than the 1080p footage of the A35. Now moving on to the front, the front camera of the A55 has wider field of view than A35, but the video quality looks similar at you know glance with similar colors, but the A55 has that natural depth effect and A35 seems to slightly over sharpen the face. Well, there's not much difference in stabilization either. Both of them do a very good job of stabilizing the video. Now in terms of battery, both have a 5000 mAh battery and support 25 watt fast charging. Likewise, they have similar charging time as well. So both of these phones charge 200% in and around 74 minutes. Now, finally, we come to the software and I think I don't have to say, but both of these phones have same software experience, like literally because they run on Android 14 out of the box and come with one US 6.1. And also uh, these phones will get four years of OS upgrade and five years of security update. And like I said, software experience, it's exactly the same. So I can say that if you don't need that slight better gaming and 4k video with the ultra wide camera sensor i think you can go with the a35 because design wise overall it's almost the same but if you want that all premium metal feel you know premium feel on hands as well and go to glass pictures plus on the rear plus slightly better gaming and slightly better ultra wide camera you can go for the a55 so that's it for the overall comparison of the a35 and a55 if you want to see more in-depth comparison of both these phones like camera gaming let us know in the comments down below that's it see you on the next one Take leg.